Hi Cancer, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for October 2018. Um, this is for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, typically my readings are love readings. They don't always turn up that way. You just make it fit your situation. However, if you are confused by this reading, it is not for you. If you do not believe in the tarot, then this reading is not for you. If you, um, you know, if it doesn't resonate, it doesn't resonate. It is what it is, right? Don't try to make it fit. Just don't try. If it fits, it fits. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Keep in mind, this is for the whole month of October. This this reading might not resonate till the end of October. Okay. <clears throat> this is a this is um, lack of completion, lack of closure. So there's a lack of closure in a situation. Something. It's like there's a feeling of emptiness here. Some, there's some kind of closure that is needed. Oh boy. You know, you could, you could be dealing with a, I mean, you could be watching somebody or somebody could be watching you from afar. I mean, this could be like a stalker energy, somebody that doesn't respect boundaries. Okay. So that could be you looking at somebody or somebody looking at you or both. Could be both. Hmm. So you're being called to look at something differently. And may, and this is a lesson learned as well, but it's reversed. There's some sort of lesson that needs to be learned. I don't know what it is. It hasn't been learned yet because that's reversed. Now this is also uh, like bitterness. Resent. That would cause people to look back if they're still bitter. So somebody is still angry about something now this is abundance this is security stability saving now I'm gonna get the rest of these cards before I go any further yeah okay <clears throat> Ooh. so it doesn't look too bad I didn't move my camera over, so I gotta get this fixed up here. So you have a lot of abundance here. You do have a lot of abundance, a lot of, um, hmm. You should be seeing things clearly at this time. There's a lot of clarity, there's a lot of abundance, there's a lot of gratefulness. So I feel like you guys are probably feeling very independent at this time. If you, if you are in a relationship, you may be considering being independent. If you are single, you're probably enjoying your independence. These are both very independent people. Typically, you know, they, they do live alone, you know, so you may be considering living alone or you may be living alone and just enjoying life as it is. Um... If you are in a relationship, like I said, you you may be happy on your own, but you may be still a little bit bitter over the past. You're still healing, right? You're still working on forgiveness. Um, I feel, or, or your oneness. You're working on forgiveness and oneness. This this cycle hasn't been completed yet, but you're getting there. You're really close because I see this. I see that this that you are very strong you have you're very very strong you've gained a lot of independence you've gained a lot of self-worth and a self for self-respect and i think people are really respecting you they respect they're respecting your hard work um i think that you're beginning to realize that there's other opportunities out there for you i think that you've been through a lot of hurt a lot of sorrow and i think that you are manifesting yourself a new beginning and you're doing it the right way okay so I feel like there's a divine connection here with you. You have a divine connection with a higher power. And I feel as though because because you are allowing yourself the time to become abundant, you are 
be, you are abundant. You're bringing more abundance into your life, okay? Because you're grateful. I see thankfulness here. Um, even though there's still some sort of bitterness. And maybe that's the last step. Because here, here, here's, here's where we have the, the forgiveness is needed. There's still closure. You need to step over that finish line. Over here, it's all great. Okay, so we have these three cards up here where it's like that last step to get to that completion. That last step, do you want me to tell you what it is? I think I already mentioned it. It's forgiveness. It's forgiveness. That's the last step that you need to take to complete this phase. And once you do that forgiveness, okay, once you do that forgiveness, this phase is completed and you receive a reward. You will receive a reward, okay, because... Um, after the Ten of Pentacles, we go to we go to the uh, these, you know, the the Page, Knight, Queen, and King. So I would say after the Ten, we probably have the Ace. So you could say this is the Ace of Pentacles. It's your reward, okay? So, but you complete this cycle. You complete this cycle with forgiveness. Your last step is forgiveness to reach your ultimate power to meet, reach your ultimate oneness okay you go you gotta that's the last step you gotta forgive this person that hurt you okay there's still some bitterness there somebody hurt you they stabbed you okay now you gotta forgive you gotta forgive once you forgive you get what you deserve okay and balance and harmony comes back okay this is the sword of power it's also the sword of truth it's being given to you from above it's this this truth this power, and this is a, this is power as well. You are being given the power to forgive, to complete this cycle. Okay, so you have it. You have it. It's in your hands. It's, it's the power is in your hands. All you have to do is be open to it. Okay. Now this is beginning to realize that this all happened for a reason. You had to learn something for it and be grateful. Be grateful for the lesson, right? I mean. You can talk, check that one off of your, your lesson learned list. You know, you can check that off of your bucket list. That lesson is learned. You will be rewarded for that. Okay? You learned a lesson. Congratulations. We haven't quite learned it because forgiveness is still needed. But as soon as you flip this card over, you forgive. You're very happy. You're content. You're good. You're single. You love it. You're like, you know what? I'm happy. I'm happy with where I'm at. I understand then you get a new opportunity, okay? So the new opportunity is just waiting. It's just waiting for you to forgive. Now that is the strength card reverse. Takes courage. And look at where I put it. You never know where I'm going to put these cards. It takes courage and it takes strength to forgive. It does. Now this is a, see this is a broken glass. It's a broken glass. It's and, and you could you could say that it's a failure. But and you may consider it a failure. But if something breaks that easily, it's really not meant to stick around, right? I mean, it's not capable of lasting. So I feel as though you have come probably to the conclusion that you can't, this can't be put back together. You can't put this back together. It's too far gone. It's shattered. It's shattered. So I think that you guys need to find the strength to just pick it up and throw it in the garbage. It might bleed a little, but it will heal. And you have the ability to finish this healing process <laughs> now we have the seven of cups reversed illusion illusion it's about facing the truth this is the truth facing the truth no longer letting those illusions elude you. I have to let this animal out.
So I feel like you guys are making that clear decision to be abundant as you are right now. The ultimate self-respect right there. You've been in an unhappy situation and negative state of mind, right? There's been some negativity here. There's been no growth really hanging on to that illusion. No growth hanging on to that illusion that something could be fixed or that you weren't good enough as on your own, that you couldn't take care of yourself or that there really wasn't nothing good that came out of this. I mean, that's an illusion. You learned something from it. You did. Something good has come out of this even if you didn't see it at one time. You've gained strength. You've gained self-love. You've gained self-respect, right? You're more abundant now than you were in the thick of the mess, right? So that's the new perspective I was telling you about. You got to look at things from that new perspective. And I think you are. And because you are, you're going to have some sort of wish fulfillment. This is a star, okay? Peace of mind, healing. Um, renewal it's a time of inspiration it's a time of wish fulfillment now um, this is a card this is like heaven sent protection consider yourself protected in the long run so there is a new opportunity here there's an opportunity for love on the outside on the outside of this after you forgive there's an opportunity for love and I think that you're starting to realize that, that, you know, there are other opportunities for me. There is. There's an opportunity. This, there's an opportunity to get exactly what you deserve. Look at this. Look at where, and I was going to put it right there, too. It's the same card. Ace of Swords, Ace of Swords, okay? This is the Sword of Power, the Sword of Truth. Awakening, awakening, awakening. You're going through some sort of awakening at this time. But you may not be mastering your emotions very well because it's not easy to go through an awakening, is it? It can be a little uncomfortable. You may be feeling like you, you're, you may be feeling depressed or tired or anxious or um, you may want to try to escape this because, you know, sometimes illusion is, is funner. You know, it's more fun. So this right here is trying to escape the truth, the illusion. I think that's where you've been. I do. I think that's where you've been. Trying to escape the truth. And, or, or, or you know what? Dealing with this truth can be painful. Now, this is the Six of Swords. It says knowledge. It's funny. This is the Six of Swords. It says knowledge. That's about moving on. But it's reversed. Yeah, I do think this is the past. I think that you guys haven't, and it may be right now where you guys are all in your head, all in your feelings over this situation that you need to forgive. And that's why this new perspective is here because this knowledge card is reversed. It's like you're, you need to see something differently. That this really wasn't as negative as you thought it was, even though it was. I mean, it was negative. I know that it was. It was an unhappy situation, but there's the star is a blessing. It really was a blessing in disguise. It really was. So uh, whatever this was, it has, it has made you wiser. It has made you stronger. 
it has made you more intellectual, more intelligent. She's very intellectual, intelligent. It has. And you, you know, you need to see it as it was something that you needed to learn in this lifetime. Yeah, you have, a, you have some opposition here. This is the Two of Wands reversed. Domination. You have an opponent, okay? You have an opponent that... I mean, it could be yourself. You could be opposing yourself. You know, arm wrestling with your thoughts, arm wrestling with your own feelings, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. One minute you're really, really strong, the next minute you're crying. So it feels as though that's what this is. You're delaying your new beginning by keeping up going back and forth. Back and forth, back and forth on it. You're delaying your own happiness. And this, this card is happiness, but it's reversed. And here's the delay. You are absolutely delaying the happiness. Because you have to truly move on. I mean, the Six of Swords, we all know, is move on. But this is this card's a little bit different. But you're, And this is reversed. You, you really, truly, absolutely need to step over that finish line. Forgiveness is the last step. But what about new love? There is an opportunity with that Five of Cups reversed. You can manifest it. Okay, but you have to shed. Now, the magician is about shedding the old so the new can come in. The magician takes action. He uses his resources, his powers within. He uses his own powers to shed so that he can bring victory and success to his life. It's going to take some courage and some strength to do that and some confidence to let the old go. It's broken beyond repair. You can't repair it. It's time for you to explore new territory. It is. It's time for you to explore new territory at this time. Do something you've never done before. There's no truce to be had. Whatever it is that you th you are still bitter about there's there's no truce there's there's no truce the only thing you can do at this time is stop engaging forgive respect yourself hold your head up high and move on what about new love that's what we want to know we're talking about love here they want to know about love those those single cancers but they're still moving on, right? They haven't healed yet. That's son of a bitch. Son of a gun. What a... They need to forgive. Oh. Takes work. It's going to take a lot of work, okay? You've got some more work to do. I'm sorry. You have some more work to do. I mean, I can't make this shit up. So, what about for couples? There's more work to do. What about couples that are... Couples. I don't know about this. I see independence here. I do. I see independence. <laughs> yeah, things are unbalanced. For couples, it's like somebody's not putting in effort. Somebody's not appreciating. They're not reciprocating fully. You know, it's falling apart. It is breaking apart if you're in a couple. And things are out of balance. People are both of you are probably temperamental. There's probably a, there's a probably a lot of emotions on the table. Things are very fluid at this time. If you things might seem like they're turned upside down in your life if you're in a couple or if you're single. Okay, things are a little wishy washy. Definitely um, less than harmonious. Okay. Now we, now we, here she is reversed, here she is upright. And there's bitterness between two people. There's absolutely some anger and bitterness issues here that are holding you back from love, whether you're in a couple or you're single. There's bitterness that needs to be resolved. Destruction. 
Freedom, liberation, okay? This is the Ten of Swords. It is reversed. This is about freeing yourself from a situation that is less than compatible, okay? Somebody's not working as a team. They're not putting in effort. They're not giving you the respect that you deserve. And I feel as though, you know, it's time to liberate yourself from this situation. And that can go many different ways. One way of liberation truly is forgiveness, you forgive and you will be free. Trust me. When you do go through this period of release and liberation, allow this destruction to just be what it is. It is what it is, right? You were, it, you've already hit rock bottom. You can only go up from here. You allow it. You will flip that card over when you forgive and you will have this major new beginning that you so much deserve. But you have to find the resources to shed and allow. Opportunity for happiness is an opportunity for wish fulfillment. But you're going to have to take act now. Think later. This is the Knight of Wands. Take action. You know, maybe you need to get out there a little bit. And now look at eight of, eight of Wands on the bottom. Mo get moving. Put yourself in the lead. You can win. You have the ability. But you have to take action. Swift action. Fast action. You have to find your power. Like right now. Because you have love waiting for you. There's love here. Real, real love. Two of Cups. But you have to you have to take action. You, nobody else. Forgive. Forgive whatever it is that you need to forgive so that this love can blossom and be. Maybe you have to free yourself from one thing to get to this point of love. And you do, you do. This is personal. This is freedom. Freedom from a destructive partnership. Underneath with the two of wands, that's a partnership. It's reversed. There's a destructive partnership that somebody needs to be freed from because they're not being appreciated. They're not being respected. Somebody's not putting in the work. There's too much fighting. There's too much arguing. There's bitterness. There's a desire to move on, but... but I can't forgive for some reason. You may feel like you're a failure, but you're not a failure. There was a lesson to be learned in this situation, but there is an opportunity for wish fulfillment if you could take action and move on. <coughs> but it feels as though you could be dealing with a false situation. This is false love. The Knight of Cups reversed. Okay, it's false love. You could be involved in a situation where it's not real. You know, it's it's all words and, and no action. So, beware. You could be dealing with somebody right now that is hindering you from true love. And that could just be the bitterness. The bitterness from that ex of that person up there that has caused you to feel like you can't open up to love. When the fact of the matter is, is that you have somebody here waiting. Right here. Right here. It's time. It's time for your rebirth. That's the death. Death card. It's time for your new beginning. It's time to release, transition, and transform. That's what this card is. Endings bring new beginnings. Somebody is in a, or still connected to a false love situation. Okay? That's what it is. A joker. That's my joker. The Knight of Cups reverse is a joker. This person is not reciprocating. They're not giving you the love that you deserve. And the love that you deserve is right here. But you have to let it end. You have to transition. You have to release. You have to forgive. So I feel like this is a month where you have an opportunity for love if you could take action. Joy. Ooh, nine of cups. Wish fulfillment again, right with the star card. So if you guys can just finish that chapter, 
finish that chapter that you have been reluctant to let go of. There's a lot of happiness to be had after that ends. You have to let go of this false lover. I'm sorry, I don't know who it is, but so that this new love can blossom. You need to cut that person, that situation, right out of your thoughts, right out of your life, right out of your mind, whatever it is. Because you have an opportunity for extreme happiness here. Now we got the Three of Swords reversed. It's reversed here too, and we're putting it over on this side, so they're mirroring each other. Forgiveness. This is a card of forgiveness. Letting go of the grief. See, this guy, he's trying to, you know, get rid of it. He didn't want to deal with it. You have to. You have to deal with it. As soon as you stop hurting yourself, sabotaging yourself, there's an opportunity for wish fulfillment right here. But you can't escape. Remember I said escapism down here? Somebody's trying to escape. This is absolutely, positively trying to escape. There is absolutely no doubt about it. You cannot escape. You cannot escape the lessons. Everybody has lessons to learn in this lifetime. Every single one of us. So as soon as you stop trying to escape the reality of whatever this situation is and forgive it, you will find the joy and the happiness and the wish fulfillment that you deserve. But you literally have to release, transition, and transform. Is there a new love opportunity? Yes, there is. If you could just wake up. Remember I said wake up, wake up, wake up. It's in your hands, not mine. So, it's about forgiveness this month. So that you can be open to love. Because there's an opportunity for love here. The soulmate... And I don't know where soulmate came from. It's got to be a soulmate. I don't know why I said soulmate. The soulmate, and I, I don't know why, but now I'm looking at this two of cups, is one that will put in equal effort, will balance out your life. It will. This person will give equally to the relationship. You're dealing with somebody right now that's not. They're not putting in effort. They're not put, doing their, their, their work. Okay? Mm. Crossing bridges. It's time for healing, connecting, mending, and releasing. Okay, I don't think I need to read it at this point because it just summed up my reading, but it does it all the time, so we're fine. I mean, it just based, this card is summed up what I just told you. Crossing bridges is a way to let go of the past and begin a new cycle in life. A heartfelt change is ahead. It's time for healing old wounds with people and situations. It's time to forgive and let go of the past. Okay. This is, I tell you what, I am their messenger. It is, it's time to forgive and let go of the past. Do whatever you need to do to make amends and then let it all go. If there is anything unresolved in your life, take steps to restore and reconcile. You may even need to burn the bridges behind you. Heal the rifts within yourself. Help others traverse bridges in their lives. When the traveler crosses a bridge, a new land awaits on the other side. You are ready to cross that bridge. There are times to step away from certain people and situations. There are also times to carefully mend bridges with people, situations, and places, and then go forward. This is one of those powerful, 
healing times to choose. Maybe there's a wound inside of you that needs to be forgiven or or accepted. I told you forgiveness is big. It's here again too. Transform the inner grievance. Forgive. I mean, forgive. Forgiven. It's all it's it's all about forgiveness. I knew it was. Let it go. Do it now. Remember I said swiftly. You no longer need to carry it with you. Perhaps there is a person from your past with whom you should reconnect or release completely. You know what you need to do. This is the time to do it. Nothing else I can say. <laughs>